Welcome back to AMB Garage. Today I will be explaining a parts list of the YD100 engine that I have on the YouTube channel. So pretty much self-explanatory, the engine is a YD100. It's got 40 millimeter long stroke crank, 50 millimeter piston with a single piece cylinder. Uh, nothing really more than that. Clutch wise, I run the DLH Performance SAF clutch. Uh, great clutch. This thing does not slip one bit. This will run you about 115 bucks. They do have a budget one, but I run the Super. With the reed setup, I run a G2 reed. Now with the carburetor, I run the 21 millimeter OKO or the PWK carburetor. This thing is amazing and it'll run you about 25 bucks. Now to run the 21 millimeter OKO, you're gonna need a 32 millimeter intake. I bought mine off of DLH Performance. It's got great, great quality. 42 bucks is a small price to pay for an absolutely killer setup. If I was not running the SAF clutch, I would not need the bucking bar, but in my case, uh, when running a stiffer clutch setup, such as the SAF clutch, the stock bucking bar fails almost instantly. So I run the RDM uh, bucking bar. Um, exhaust wise, I run YC80, but this is a nasty jack and it's pretty much almost identical and it's like half the price. YC80 is about 115 bucks. Spark plug wise, I run a NGK BR6 HS. This thing is amazing. With the reed valve, you're going to need to use a windowed piston. Windowing your own piston is much better. Now let me explain why. You may be thinking, well, if it's a matter of getting a pre-windowed piston for like literally 20 bucks, why would I spend 70 plus bucks on a Dremel when I can just get this for 20 bucks. Here's the thing, these fail a ton. Now, it's a regular 50 millimeter piston, whatever, but these are machine windowed and they are absolutely trash. They are absolutely disgusting windows. They have jagged edges, but even if you do file these out and make them look good, so they won't destroy your cylinder. They are also too wide. And this is a bad thing because the windows, they are actually wider than the intake port itself. And that causes inevitable scoring to the cylinder. It cuts performance, a whole bunch of nasty things. The windows themselves are not tall enough. Now with a reed valve, you need the intake port to be opened at all times. But because the pre-windowed pistons have ports that are too, like, too short, that doesn't happen. They actually close at bottom dead center, which is gonna hurt and hinder your performance. Which All of this can be avoided. Get a Dremel set and you can window almost infinite pistons and you can port your own cylinder which I've also done to the YD100 so I recommend getting your own Dremel thank you guys so much for watching this has been a parts list of almost everything I have to the engine if you guys want a full parts list of the entire bike please let me know um, I'll be happy to do that for you guys